Yo, what is up guys, Aaron here. So last year, I made a video on my top five reasons why you should buy the Note 10 Plus in 2021. Now fast forward now to 2022, my stance hasn't really all that changed. In fact, I have five more updated reasons why you guys should buy the Note 10 Plus in 2022. So I've always been a fan of the Note, and I actually got this phone on release back in 2019, and it's been my daily driver for about three years now. I even had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with other Samsung flagships like the S21 Ultra, but for some reason, there's just something special about the Note 10 Plus where it makes it hard to let go. So today, I'll be giving you guys my top five updated reasons on why you guys should buy the Note 10 Plus in 2022 but especially for reason number five, so make sure you guys stick around for that. But real quick, before we get started, I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you learn and develop new skills. Whether you're into technology, photography, or even just self-development, Skillshare is filled with inspiring videos to boost your creativity. Some of my favorite classes include YouTube success taught by Marcus Brownlee, who has been a huge influence in the tech world, and also Ali Abdal's Productivity Masterclass, which has helped me tremendously on how to stay organized and be productive on a daily basis. And the best part about Skillshare is that they're constantly launching new premium classes each week, and all the videos are ad-free. So Skillshare is actually hooking up the first 1,000 people to a free month of Skillshare by clicking the link in the description below. Absolutely an amazing value, a full month to improve your knowledge and discover new skills completely for free. So don't wait to expand your knowledge and take the next step in your creative journey. All right guys, the first reason is that it has the perfect shape, size, and design. Still to this day, I think the Note 10 Plus, especially in this color, is the best looking phone Samsung has ever created. It's slim, it's compact, the design is minimal. I just love the whole simplicity of it. The phone sits perfectly flat with smooth edges. The size of the camera isn't overly done. It's thin, it's light, it's literally the perfect size and weight for everyday comfort. It feels like newer flagships are getting thicker and heavier each year, and that just made me appreciate this design even more. And my number two reason is the screen to body ratio. The display covers nearly 91% of the phone's body, and the side bezels are nearly non-existent at 1.5 millimeters thick. And to put that into perspective, consider that is only 0.059 of an inch. The screen to body ratio on the Note 10 Plus is 1.2% higher than the S21 Ultra and almost 5% higher than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I also want to add how tough this screen is. I haven't used the screen protector in years and the Gorilla Glass is holding up nicely. I mean, the phone is completely scratch free. And my third reason is additional storage, which a lot of phones lack these days. The Note 10 Plus has expandable memory, so you can insert a micro SD card into the phone for an additional 512 gigs of storage. So if you have a model with 512 gigs of internal storage already, you can add an additional 512 gigs with the micro SD card, which in total can give you up to one terabyte in storage. And I haven't even mentioned that this phone comes with the minimum of 256 gigs of storage, not 128. So to simply put, you're never gonna run out of storage. And the number four reason is Dex compatibility with super fast charging. And I know those are like two separate things, but I thought it was crucial to include them in this list. The Android world was pretty dumbfounded when they found out the S21 Ultra, number one, didn't include a charging brick, and two, wasn't capable of 45 watt fast charging. The Note 10, on the other hand, does come with a charging brick and is capable of 45 watt fast charging, which is extremely useful. It might not sound like a big deal guys, but trust me, when you're limited on time and your battery's running low, you'll be so thankful we had this feature, especially when you're using Samsung DeX. You can transform your phone into a desktop PC by hooking up a USB-C to HDMI cable or just getting a cheap adapter that I have here. Also, if you have a wireless keyboard and mouse on hand, you can just connect those via Bluetooth or a USB dongle for an even better computing experience. Maximize your workflow, multitask with ease, all on a bigger screen. And my fifth and final reason, and this is crucial, is the death of the Note. And that might not sound like a good reason, and I probably could have worded it better, but there's something I really need to get off my chest. The Note used to be known as the top dog. If you wanted the best, top of the line phone, you'd get the Note. That's just how it was. But with the release of the S22 Ultra, which is supposed to be the successor of the Note, as a Note fan, I'm just hugely disappointed. It's 2022, 
and the S22 Ultra has no external storage, it has less internal storage, and you get four gigs of less RAM than my Note 10 Plus, which came out three years ago. The Note is made for power enthusiasts, and to me, that's just unacceptable. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure the S22 Ultra will be a beefy phone, but if you're gonna go backwards three years later and make customers pay extra for all these features that were standard on the Note 10 Plus, I just don't see how... Do you guys know where I'm going with this? Anyways, I'll probably cover more of this in a separate video later, and I'm sorry if I sound a little salty, but I'm sure a lot of Note fans feel the same way. To tell you the truth, I'm the type of guy that wants a new car every three years. I'm the type of guy that wants a new graphics card for like 10 more FPS. But even after three years with the Note 10 Plus, the thought of upgrading hasn't even crossed my mind once. And I still don't think it will for a while. So anyways guys, that was my top five reasons why you should get the Note 10 Plus in 2022. And as you can see, my stance hasn't changed at all. All right guys, I hope this video helped. And if you guys can also help me out by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, I'll always appreciate your guys' support. Anyways guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.